What is going on guys, this is Epic Spawn the Unit here, and today I'm going to do my very first Red Dead Redemption video, and it's actually going to be a tutorial video. I uh, didn't really plan on doing this, I wanted uh, I want to do a lot of content on this game, but this is going to be the first thing I do, just because, I, I don't know, you have to excuse me, I'm a little dirty and unshaven, but uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys is some basic aspects of hunting and how to get a perfect small game pelt. Because I was uh, struggling with it for a little, and then I f finally found out how to do it, and it, it brings about for some good crafting and some cash and food. So what you gotta do is, uh, small game requires a varmint rifle in order to get the perfect carcass and the perfect pelt. Okay, and. I got mine, I'm sure you can get yours at any gunsmith, but I got mine at Valentine. Valentine is the very first city you visit when you start the game. And you get it at the gunsmith here. I'll go ahead and show it, show it to you guys just so you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to walk in. Good to see you again, uh, Browse catalog. Old Crawford, a Carmody Dell, had and a then go straight to the rifles. Sure to start with, mind you. Yes, and then the second option is the no. This is the first option, the vomit rifle. This is what you need for a perfect pelt and a perfect car carcass. Now, once you have your rifle, you want to locate. Don't put that down. Put that down. Put it down. You want to locate some small game, and that includes chimp monk, ch chimp monk, skunk, fox, rabbits. I think I'm gonna try to find a rabbit. Uh, it also includes turkey. Pretty much anything, you know, lower to the ground and small is small game. It's pretty easy to decipher what's small game. And the what I usually do is, I usually just catch them on the way to like a mission. So I'm gonna. Run toward my ca the the camp where this mission is, and I'm probably gonna run into some chipmunks or squirrels or rabbits or something. Okay, over here we got some small game. This uh, from a distance I think is a turkey. Okay, so what you can do is you can take out your binoculars, and in order to get information of the animal you're currently looking at, you can zoom in on the binoculars. And then, I believe it'll be hold Y, it's either hold Y or hold right bumper, and that will be to study the animal. Now once you've studied it, you can press right bumper again to bring up the little box in the corner. You can do that with any creature, and that'll tell you what you need for a clean kill, okay? And so this is a good eastern wild turkey, and it requires a vomit rifle for a clean kill, okay? Now, you can track it, and it will leave blue lines. This one hasn't yet, because it hasn't. I haven't seen it move. But it will leave blue lines for you to track. That's something they introduced very early in the game. I'm sure you already know how to do that. Uh, something that, they, that the tips kind of pass over is the fact that you can see your stench. Those are the blue lines coming off of me. And you want to stay downwind so the stench is going away from the animal. Otherwise, if you're close enough or they smell strong enough, they will react to your stench and actually run away. Which is really cool, but can be really tedious depending on how you look at it or what you're hunting. Okay, so over here we have turkey. I'm going to get out my... I already have my rifle out. Okay. I'm going to try to get closer without sending it off. Okay. Now, you have the option... Oh, it's not popping up actually. Hold on. I'm gonna try to go around so my stench isn't going toward him. Hey, I can study that real quick. Hold on. Never try to do that real quick, because I haven't seen that yet, apparently. No, turkeys are running away. Study, study, study. So, like, the animal has to be in frame. See, that was a California quail. Uh. Use a bow with a small game arrow. See, that tells me what, what I gotta use. Okay, so that's still the turkey. Go over this way so n my stench is not upwind. Check my stench. Okay. 
We are okay. Now, we want to get clean sight. You, What you want is you want the clear sight of its head and neck. You hit anywhere but the head or neck, it will not be a perfect skin or a perfect carcass. So, wait a second. You can... Well, you can usually call to make them stick their head up, but I guess that you can't do that with the turkeys. See, there's its neck, okay? And... Oh, no! I missed. I missed. Ah, uh, that intermission. Okay. There it is. Track it, just in case. That's the throw right there. Now, a good way to know that you got the perfect kill, the, the perfect uh, skin, is that you see the three hearts pop up to the right. I think that's for like being humane or something like that. Now, be very careful. It's very easy to damage it. Do not walk on it, otherwise you will damage it. You have the option to just, like pick it up, skin later, whatever. Just know that if you do that, it's very easy to damage it. So I do it just here and then, because here you get the skin and the meat. And then you can just leave the carcass behind if you want. Well, that's what I usually do, because otherwise you have to bring it to the camp, and that's just a big hassle. You gotta worry about it rotting. So, plump bone meat, turkey feather. You don't get skins for turkey. Alright, there's a jackrabbit. I actually don't even have it studied yet. We're not gonna worry about that, though. Worry about that, though. Just for the sake of the video, Stench is going not quite toward him, not quite away from him either. Okay, we see him. Being oh, he's in the grass though. Okay, shot him in the head. Should not have damaged the pelt. Got the three hearts on the side. I'll do a replay just so you can see it. Now walk over carefully. Skin. Should be a perfect skin and carcass. And he just tears it right off. Perfect. Give it to me. <gasps> just works, I swear to God. Now I'm thinking that it's possible that the bullet has penetration, so like, it went through the head and then into the body, and that's why it was only a good pelt. Just an afterthought. Oh, he's there. You can hardly see him, but he's there. So, oh, I shot him in the butt. Because he moved. Perfect. Okay. Hold up. I'll do a slow-mo, like, zoomed-in replay of that. And I'm pretty sure I didn't shoot him in the throat. But anyway, that is how you get a perfect pelt from the small game and Red Dead Redemption. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And luckily, like, the complications I had and the short little funny moments that hopefully are actually funny um, are, like, just good representations of how tedious hunting can be. And, on it, like, I think it's really cool, but I don't know. It has its quirks, I guess. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I will be making more Red Dead videos. Uh, this is just something I wanted to try out. I probably should have, like, recorded clips and then done a voiceover over it, but I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please leave some feedback down in the comments below. In it, even if you didn't enjoy, leave some negative down there. Either way, you're helping me out, and I will bid you all a good day. Just in case, I'll see you later. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye!